It's the planning challenge of the 21st century, making sure roads, trains, buses and trams keep up with urban growth. In the fastest growing municipality in Victoria, there's no time to waste. Last night, the city of Wyndham, centred on Werribee, launched a campaign to press for new roads and upgraded public transport to serve its rapidly increasing population. The campaign, called Get Wyndham Moving, targets May's state budget and November's election. And as Andrew Bell reports, residents fear without action the area will grind to a halt. Welcome to Boomtown. Dozens of families are moving in every week. 90,000 new homes will be built here over the next three decades. But this staggering growth is threatening to bring the place to its knees. Melbourne's CBD may be on the horizon, but getting there for work is a battle. The roads are pretty bad. There's a lot of potholes and a lot of traffic. How easy is it to get around in Wyndham? Uh, unless you've got a car, it's very difficult. You come here with the train, the time you walk out here, the bus is gone. Because you've seen it up there. When you walk out, you won't get the bus. It takes uh, 40, 40 to 45 minutes for the next uh, uh, service to arrive, so we have to wait. So the train doesn't connect with the bus? No. Nah. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does. Alice Osborne has lived in Point Cook with her young family for nine years. When people talk about uh, the struggles of getting into work on a daily basis. People put warnings saying that there's a car crash on the freeway, don't bother leaving yet, or um, sat there going, I've been sat on Point Cook Road for 45 minutes and I still haven't got anywhere close to the freeway. It's a six kilometre stretch of road. It's just crazy out there. And um, the buses are now starting to get um, overflowing from what I hear and they can't get parking at the train stations there's just there's just no way out. Time is everything here on Melbourne's western fringes. It's definitely a juggling act. And eventually Alice and her husband couldn't keep all the balls in the air. The double income household was unsustainable. They and their children were losing out. He was only seeing them in the morning in that mad rush I was doing the evening shift on my own, no one was happy, we just, we didn't have children to, to have them being watched by someone else while we sat in, sat in the car. I think lots of people were in the same situation that, were, that we were in for sure. Is frustration turning a bit into anger? I think that there's probably quite a lot of anger out there. I know some people have up and left Point Cook because they're just so frustrated with um, the roads not doing what they're supposed to do. Frustration, anger, whatever the label, it was in the air at local elections in 2012. Residents made it clear they wanted their council to do something. There's a sense of perpetual catch up and in fact it's got it, 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 worse than that, it's actually we're not keeping pace. So the jobs don't keep up and the transport infrastructure doesn't keep up. They're the two biggest issues we've got in the community. Um, the rest of the city stuff is on for... Um, Bill Forrest along with Mayor Bob Fairclough is at the centre of the Get Windham Moving campaign. What we're trying to do is get the community behind us to actually um, be, show the politicians that we're really serious uh, about the, uh, addressing the uh, traffic congestion that we've got in Wyndham. It, it was about identifying um, across road and rail and cycle and, uh, and buses what those priorities were, um, continuing to work with the community around um, the experience they have with that. I think we don't really understand what social impacts this is having and I think we need to understand that better. Um, and it's, so it's been working on those issues with the community and really engaging their voice and harnessing their voice to help us highlight this issue that the outer suburbs and Wyndham in particular are facing around just how long it's taking. Wyndham will be something of the size of Canberra soon. Canberra is currently looking at a light rail service and it's been committed. There's no thought of doing even local buses in, in Wyndham. Public transport academic Graham Curry says what's happening in Wyndham is an extreme example of the growth pressures facing many councils. Fundamentally we're not doing what we need to for the outer suburbs and they're increasing in size and the problem is growing over time. So I commend Wyndham for their campaign. 
it doesn't matter how political it is or what colour. You need to do something about this. And of course, residents understand this perfectly. They are the one that are in the car all the time that at weekends are trying to get their kids around to activities as the taxi drivers. Um, no solution is currently being discussed in Melbourne for this problem. Possible solutions are certainly being discussed in Wyndham. Getting several hundred people to turn out on a sultry Thursday evening when there's live football on TV is no mean feat. Why you come to the meeting tonight? Because we're disgusted with the congestion on the roads and we love Wyndham and Werribee and we think we deserve a better deal than we're getting. We've been residents here for 10 years and um, transport's the biggest issue here. When you've got 12,800 people moving in every year, it is a huge concern when you've got congestion the way it is on these roads. People can't get out of here. It's no laughing matter. Well, occasionally it can be. 80 babies a week are born. Is it a week? Yes, 80 a week are born in this area, you know, and most of them are born on that freeway, I believe. <laughs> The comedian Dave Hughes was recruited to MC the campaign launch is a clear indication that council knows it needs as broad a range of residents on board if it's to have any chance of success. What we're trying to do is get the community behind us to actually um, be, show the politicians that we're really serious uh, about the, uh, addressing the uh, traffic congestion that we've got in Wyndham and Alice Osborne is one of 12 so-called travel champions appointed to ensure community sentiment is represented. This is the sort of thing that our residents will really embrace if they are helped to, to, to know what to do. We're trying to um, help our residents know who to write to, know what noise to make out in the media to, to get our um, voices heard. Uh, we're, we're tired of waiting for these things to be built. We need action now. Residents have launched a campaign to help improve the region's clogged roads. They're sick of spending hours getting to and from work and are demanding government action. Peak hour traffic is frustrating for any worker. But spare a thought for those coming from the western suburbs. It takes people in Point Cook an hour just to get onto the wet gate. Resident Alice Osborne has had enough, choosing to quit her job rather than spend more than two hours each day getting to and from work at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. It's not enough time with the children at home. We could never eat meals together apart from on the weekend. Alice's husband is still in the rat race. If he travelled outside of peak, it would take about an hour and a half to two hours each way. Wyndham City Council has launched a campaign to stop the gridlock, calling for several key roads to be duplicated, for the east-west link to start in the west, for overpasses to replace level crossings, as well as an urgent call for more public transport. Many of our Wyndham buses run at 40 to 50 minute intervals and the services don't run after 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Even when Wyndham residents choose to take public transport, they still face a daily commute of more than two hours. That's double the Melbourne average. It's standing room only. You're crammed. It's the Werribee line is the second most overcrowded line. Hundreds turned out to a community meeting last night. It took me over two hours to get here from Melbourne. It's incredible uh, what you guys put up with. Locals fear there's no end in sight for residents in one of the fastest growing areas in the country unless governments take immediate action. Kiara Parker, 7 News.